What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. We are back after about a week off and today we are going to be using Iron Mike Tyson in the heavyweight division. Also, I'm going to switch it up a little bit for you guys. I'm going to be trying to intimidate my opponent uh, with a certain speech from a certain movie and we're going to see how well we get on. So we're about to get into the fight here and I'm going to try to intimidate this guy to the best of my abilities and we're going to see if he comes right at me. Alright, the big game is about to start. You do not move, I want to say something. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you want. But if you're looking for ransom, I can tell you I don't have money. And he attacks us! But what I can tell you is I have a certain set of skills. Skills that I've required over a long career of EA UFC 2. If you leave the game now, no harm will come to you. But if you don't, I will fight you. And I will KO you. Right, I think he's scared. <laughs> that was pathetic. <laughs> oh god, Liam Neeson will be, uh, be rolling in his grave. <laughs> Alright, oh, messages. Alright, let's see how we get on with this fight, guys. Uh, he didn't leave the fight, so it looks like we're going to have to KO this guy. Oh! That's a beautiful uppercut, and there's a knee to the scrotum. Right. Oh, the beautiful forehead combination. Sweet leg. Oh, no, 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 no. We walk straight into that one. Oh, we rock him, we rock him. Mike Tyson's, he's ready. Oh, my God, stop throwing hooks, man. He's just blocking now. He's terrified to throw. Oh, don't be clenching, bro. Now we block that. Don't be standing on my tail, man. I think he's getting a bit, um... Ah, come on, we stop that, Tyson. He's supposed to be intimidating, this guy. Oh, great. Good lad, Tyson, yourself. Oh, okay, this is going to be a bit of a nightmare for us, I think. And he's going to go for a sub. And he may get it. Because Tyson's stats aren't really the best for this. No, we get out of it. And he wants to get up. I think it was the speech that threw him off. <laughs> Oh, he catches with a beautiful spinning back fist. So, guys, as I am recording this, it is Saturday night. And I am sitting here in my lovely bedroom in Dublin, Ireland, in my beautiful apartment. So, what I want to say to you guys is, as of about 3 o'clock in the morning, maybe half 2 uh, a.m. time, we will be getting the UFC. It is, uh, what is it? It's, uh... Oh god, I forget now. It's uh, Stipe Miocic, the heavyweight champ, defending against Francis Ngannou. And it is also uh, Daniel Cormier defending against Vulcan Uzdemir. So, I'm kind of just going to give you my two cents of who wins these fights, how they win these fights. Um, starting off with the co-main event, Daniel DC Cormier and Vulcan Uzdemir. I would like to say that I believe it will be... Uh, Daniel DC Cormier just for the simple reason I think he's a great grappler a fantastic wrestler you know he wasn't in the Olympics for nothing but Vulcan does have those quick knockouts I think altogether he spent about what was it 70 seconds 80 seconds in the octagon so he's got the skills there to get the win you know what I mean but I don't think personally he's going to get the win against Daniel so yeah I think it's going to be a really great fight I think Daniel Squeezes out the decision victory there after five rounds. It will be hard fought. I don't see him knocking out Vulcan. I think Vulcan could knock him out, but we've seen that DC can take those shots on the chin, especially from a guy like Anthony Rumble Johnson and even even uh, John Jones as well. Gave more and took a few, so he actually knocked uh, John Jones' mouthpiece out in the second fight. So I think that could be a win there. And this guy keeps talking to me, but I'm telling you. He's lost the first round, I believe, so. Oh, he gets rocked again. Oh, he's partying now. Oh, okay, he's one of these guys, so. He likes to party when he gets hurt, so he wants to sit there. And he wants to, uh, try challenge me, but then he wants to parry. No, that's okay, guys, don't worry about that. We can deal with these people. He's trying to open up in combinations now with a body kick and then a straight. Thankfully, we know how to, uh, accommodate that and prepare for that. So we're ready for that. So, getting into the main event then. Steve Amy Ocic and Francis Singano. Oh, my heart says Stipe, but uh, my mind is saying Ngannou. But then again, I do think this is too much for Ngannou too soon. 
I would like to have seen him fight maybe a Verdum or something like that. But I do think that... Uh, I'm going to just say Nganu. But I really want Stipe to win, but I'm going with Nganu. So, there's my two cents on that. Wasn't obviously a lot of detail, but maybe I'll do like a, a fight after video. Where I go into it after the, after the fights happen. So, um, this fight is kind of going our way at the minute with a rock in each round. We're taking the center of the octagon a lot. Predominantly a boxer in the heavyweight division. Obviously, Iron Mike Tyson. Velasquez seems to be... Uh, sorry, not uh, Velasquez. Jamie Velasquez. Uh, Fabricio Verdum seems to be landing a bit more. Looking for that clinch. Obviously, he doesn't want to take those shots from Iron Mike. So, But he keeps doing that. He's going to get into trouble. And we're really going to got to go town and on that body. Every time we back up against that cage, he's going to feel it, you know. And we will hurt him a lot more, and he's going to hurt us. Look, he's parrying like a nut job now because he's terrified. Terrified of what skills Tyson possesses. But we did tell him at the start, you know, I, if you leave the game, I won't fight you. But if you stay here, I will fight you and I will KO you. So, that's how we're going to roll with this one. Keep saying me, 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 but he's the one that's getting caught. And I know he got caught there, but I'm not too worried about it. He's trying to go to sin now into attacking, and we don't need that. You know what I mean? We're ahead on the on the uh, the scorecards. No need to rush our victory. Our victory will come in time. He has about six minutes left to do something about it. He's trying to throw the same combo there with the, uh, the body shot into the straight, body shot into the straight. So... We kind of know what he wants to do now, see? So he steps in with that knee and he gets caught with the overhand. And we're timing it perfectly now. Oh, beautiful leg kick there by Tyson. Getting onto the outside. Oh, nice. See? See, he's getting caught now. When he gets upside this fence, he gets nervous. I can see it. Uh, he goes for the uh, clinch there. I was expecting that. Absolutely. He says me, me, me again. But you, 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 nothing but. Let's clinch then. You want to clinch so bad? Let's clinch. Let's do it. Tries to whip us. He tries to whip us into a knee. <clears throat> but he doesn't pull the the trigger on the knee, which is shocking. I think coming toward the end of the round, you might want to try to break the block. Try to break the guard. He doesn't, so. I'm going to say two rounds to us. He may have landed more, but we're landing the more power punches and getting the rocks and taking the center of the octagon. Does he want to touch up for the third and final? He does, so he's still taunting. Okay, so he goes for a clinch automatically. That could be his downfall. That could be a very, very bad thing for him, though, if he keeps going for that clinch and wasting that stamina of his. Just like that, you see? Catch him. Flush. And we're never there to get hit. Oh, if he had walked into that. I would have been a very happy man. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, we're pushing him back. I can see. Look, he's just trying to switch the position now on us. We eat that knee. We take it. We take that lead uppercut. That's fine. That's fine. He takes that uppercut himself there. Oh, he's parrying again. Oh, we catch him again. So we've landed the majority of the shots now. And he's still getting cocky there. He's still taunting. Not realising that he is behind on scorecards. And he's just going to keep on taunting. It's weird. He tries to push us up against the cage. But we do reverse position straight away. Not looking to be there at all. Tyson's got like this ring presence about him. Even though he's a short guy. You know he, he, he's got that presence about him. That will just absolutely ruin you. See he's trying the same combo all the time. All the time. Same combo. Now we're blocking it a bit. We're not blocking it all the time, but we're doing our best. So, the thing is, though, he has stopped throwing now, so he's been a lot more defensive. So, I might only actually get to throw out single shots. Hmm. Let's throw him a taunt back and say, What's up, like, you know what I mean? Hey, like, come on, let's go. I didn't mean to do that. That was weird. Oh, come on, I'll eat that. I'll eat that. Let's go again. Let's do it. You know, he, he likes to kick us and run away, and. Yeah, he's the one that's losing on these scorecards. So, look. Yeah, I'm in the center. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Do you know what I mean? I hate this when people just do this. Like, they don't want to fight. They want to love tap us. And then try to run away. And that's what he does. He connects with his combos and he gets out of the way. But when you're taunting someone, you know, you stand there and you fight them like that. Like, see, I'm not taking a step back. I'm just going to move here to the side. <laughs> I can see, like, how kind of nervous he feels, though. That was nice. I actually haven't done that in a while, the sway back into the uppercut. I don't know why. Okay, now he's starting to flow combos out, but is it too late then? With the amount of damage that we've been able to push in this fight. It may not be, though. He is connecting a lot now. I feel myself letting it slip until that big overhand. Until that big cross hook. Let's make him work for this now. 
Oh, he wants to get out of this. Let's let's let him make him try to get out of it. That's it, Tyson. Feeling very confident right here. Just keep him in this position. Ah, oh, come on, Tyson. Thought we blocked that. Oh, that was nice. Nice Superman punch there. He needs to try and finish this fight right now. Fight's over. Okay. <clears throat> we got the full three rounds. Did not get the KO. I had a lot of chances on two different opportunities there. Uh, in the first and the second with the rock. We're going to skip all this. I'm going to let you guys listen. And then I'll be right back to give you my thoughts. We did it. We got the split decision victory. I think that was just because of the amount of shots that he landed. Um, I would have gave myself unanimous there, actually. That's weird. I don't know why Verdun was looking so happy at the end there. When I had him up against the cage for a good 15 to 20 seconds, I wouldn't have been happy with that staying in that position for that long. But look, we get the win. What we're going to do now is we're going to move on to the next fight. We're going to be playing as Ruthless Robbie Lawler. We're going to mix it up and go to the welterweight division. We're going to give him our whole speech again, our whole intimidation speech. And Robbie Lawler is actually a featured fighter today, which is nice. We get a bit of extra points there for using Robbie. And then maybe next time we'll do a video with Jose Aldo and get experience points there. Takei Mizugaki, Joseph Benavidez. And I can't see the heavyweight person there. I didn't really get to see who that was. Okay, let's look for a Lawler. And we'll use him and we'll see how well we can get on with him. And then what I'll do, guys, is I'll be right back with you when the fight begins so please excuse this whole waiting process and i'll be right back with you guys Welcome back guys and welcome back to the second fight of the episode. We are using Ruthless Robbie Lawler in the blue corner against Lim or is it Lim the way they pronounce it? I don't know. Basically we're going to give this guy our whole intimidation speech. I don't know it off by heart. You guys are going to have to bear with me you know. Right let's do it. Don't attack me. Do not attack me. I want to give you a speech for the fans. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you want. If it's ransom you are looking for. I can tell you I don't have money, but what I do have is a particular set of skills. Skills that I've required over a long MMA EA UFC 2 career. If you quit the game now, I will not look for you. But if you do not leave the game now, I will fight you and I will KO you. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Alright, that's the intimidation process over. Let's see how well this guy deals with it. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> okay, we're going to switch it up to uh, Orthodox with this guy. This guy is tall, man. Liam, isn't it? I think his name is Liam or Lim. I, I don't know how that guys pronounce it. So, we're using Rootless. Robbie Lawler. We're going to absolutely spark out combinations with this guy. He's got an overhand into an overhand left, which is nice. But he's super tall, so we're going to get really close. He's really <laughs> chopping our face off. I don't think he liked my speech discover. Take down. Nope. Alright. Oh, nice. Nope. Yeah, that doesn't work. So this is good for us. Get him thinking about that takedown. You know, get him scared. Let him know what's up. Could we get a quick knockout with this one, though? This, this would be nice to get a quick knockout after that long... Ah, Jesus Christ, what am I doing? I'm just messing now. I'm getting super aggressive for no reason. I gotta, I gotta chill it out. Just because I think I'm using uh, Lawler, I'm just getting super aggressive here. But I don't know what, he's, what his game is at the minute. I'm going to obviously figure it out as I go. He's really being super ultra aggressive though. He lost that head kick. I think I'll go one of those too. Yeah. Woohoo! Rock baby. Oh, he tried to grab us. Wrong decision, but oh okay, we're working it now. Got him up against the corner. Well there is no corners in the octagon really, is there? Nice jab. Thinks he's got um Oh, nice. Thinks he's got time for it. 
You know, he really wants to throw out his shots, I can see that, but he's just jabbing our face off. That's really all he's throwing so far, it's just a lot of jabs, but they're not going to do you any good when you're eating shots like that. You know, you're throwing off a simple jab, and I'm throwing up some hooks and big kicks, and that's no good. He tries to work the legs there, that's, uh, that's different. Oh, nice. Okay, we don't need to get uh, aggressive here too much. The only time I'm really going to get aggressive is when I go for the finish. And at the minute, I'm not really looking for the finish. I'm just kind of having fun with this. I think I'm outlanding on it anyway. But if you don't count his jabs as proper punching the face at me, well then, yeah. He's trying to go for that jab again. D guys, you should feel the difference between uh, Robbie Lawler's overhands and Tyson's overhands. They just feel so different. Like There we go. That's the end of round one. We controlled the octagon. I think we controlled the pace as much as we could. We got the rock. There's a lot of pressure. I wonder how good. I wonder how good his uh, ground game is, or even his clinch work. Maybe we'll look to find out. Who knows? Um, maybe, 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 maybe in the third if it gets that far from. He is in the red corner, so he does have the advantage of being. You know, when you're playing on single player, you have that advantage there. So. But we're kind of getting the uh, the shots that he wants to throw down. I can see what he wants to do now, which is really, really ruin the body. Take our stamina away so we can't throw epic combos. But that's not going to work. We're going to stay here. Actually, we're going to switch here. I'm going to go to uh, Orthodox again. I know that Robbie Lawler is obviously a predominant uh, southpaw. But we're just going to we're gonna switch it up, you know. I want to keep him guessing. I don't want to just make the fight easy. And Oh, that was nice. That was nice. All right, let's, let's check out this guy's clean work. Hmm. He does seem content with just staying here, so if that's the case. He's trying to push off that cage, though. He's not even going to get time to do that. We're going to leave him there. I thought we blocked that. I definitely blocked that. But we're not even going to give him time. This is just going to be a lot of switching and swapping, do you know what I mean? So... Right, there we go. Hmm. Feeling a bit confident now the minute that we actually get that takedown as well, so. Ah, we've stopped loads of those. That's ridiculous. He's going for a submission. He wants that submission desperately. I can see that. But he's going to ruin himself. He's ruined himself. He's pushing himself away from the corner, which is weird. He legit just pushed himself away from the uh, from the cage, which I don't understand. So crazy that is. No, you're not gonna get that. Right, we've got full stamina. He's got next to nothing. Let's go for this. See what we can get here. What the hell? I thought I got that. No. What the hell? I pressed the wrong button and my game went off. Ah! I pressed the home button on the controller and it went off. That's a shame. I think we could have got that submission genuinely. I'm so sorry about that. Oh, he goes for the takedown himself, but not going to happen. Not today. Ah, oh, we're going to have to go for this again, aren't we? Oh, he gets that. He got up on that one. Very good. He wants to take down on us. We say absolutely not. He goes for it again. This guy's got absolutely no freaking patience. It is ridiculous. He's got absolutely no patience. Look at this. He just desperately wants to get out of this position, but the man's got no patience for that. And look, he's just getting absolutely abused by this. Right. Well, we know where. He has no ground game at all. He's got next to no clinch game. Striking's pretty decent. That was a beautiful overhand left. I feel super confident in this fight now, knowing willingly that I can take this fight to the ground, pressure him against the cage, giving my fighter some rest while also putting pressure on his fighter. I like that. Does he want to touch gloves? No, he doesn't want to touch gloves. Okay, so he's going to come out and just try to jab my face off right now. He needs to be careful with that, though, because... Well, that's exactly why he needs to be careful. Just because of that alone. 
just like that we're back to the canvas he got super over aggressive there was absolutely no need to get that aggressive he done it to himself he gets back up and now just like that we're in the red corner now we're going to see how good he is in the blue corner we're going to see where does his uh his strengths lie here in the blue corner hmm i'm feeling quite quite but we get that takedown again there's our takedown this guy needs to be careful doesn't want to give up his back that's fine try to do that all he wants I think this guy may leave this for oh he's lucky he's trying to fake it now look posture up here I don't think he was expecting that arm bar. Very close to getting this. We may get it. Sorry if I'm not talking. I was trying to. Oh, no, 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 no. What happened there? We got it. We, we submit him. We got this submission victory. So. That guy's um, weakness is laid in his ground game, which I find that a lot of people actually do. It's nothing to be ashamed of, you know. I attempted that submission uh, three times, I think, and I lost it twice. And one time it tapped me game off by accident. The other time I uh, just didn't get it, I believe. And that time I sunk it in. I had full stamina. This poor guy had nothing. So I'm going to put it down to being intimidating. <laughs> So, I think my speech really got into his head there that he didn't really want to hold back. and But he did hold back and we got the submission victory. So, I haven't really got a lot of those. I think that's like my, my third or fourth one altogether uh, in, in the whole year of having this game. So, I'm pretty excited about that when I do submit someone. You know what I mean? It's, it's, a, it's a big deal for me. So, with only three or four of them. Guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed uh, we did something a little bit different today, trying to be intimidating, so the intimidator, I guess you could call me. <laughs> uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give this video a big thumbs up, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and click that beautiful, beautiful, beautiful notification bell so you never, ever miss an episode. Alright guys, have a great weekend, enjoy the UFC, and I will see you guys in the next one.